Hello everyone and welcome back to the code syndicate. In this video, we will be discussing about tuples in python. Tuples are used to store multiple values in a single variable. Tuples are unmodifiable that means we cannot add or remove elements from a tuple once we declare it. Tuples are ordered and items of a tuple can be fetched by its index which starts with 0. Tuples are written with a round bracket like this. Let's print this tuple and have a look in our terminal. Let's also check the type of this variable tub. Now once we declare a tuple we cannot change this. If we try to add or remove elements from this tuple like tub.insert or something like tub.add or remove these methods are not available for a tuple and this unchangeable nature makes this tuple very usable in case we want to store some group of values which we never intend to change. For example, something like all the days of a week or all the months of a year, etc. Like we stored integers in this tuple, similarly we can store other types of data as well, like strings or floats, etc. And more importantly, we can store different types of values in a single tuple as well. Let's have a tuple with an integer, float and string. If you wish, you can add a boolean type as well. Let's add a boolean type. Let's print this top one and check the type of this top one as well. A tuple can store duplicate data as well, like Now, as we know, tuple is used to store multiple values, but is it possible to have a tuple with a single value only? Actually, we can store a single value in a tuple, but the tuple needs to end with a comma. For example, let's see the type of this variable tub. If we remove this comma, Python will ignore this braces and considers this variable as a string type. Here you can see we have got the type of this sub variable as str. So whenever you are creating a tuple with a single value only, make sure to add a tailing comma at the end. Otherwise, it will not be considered as a tuple. So this is it for this video. If you are new to this channel and haven't subscribed it yet, please do subscribe it for the more Rust content.